What up guys, money makes you put all here and we are back with another review. Today we're reviewing Endless Night. So we're gonna finish chapter 5 this week and next week. So, I know I said Irma was, but the, Arthur's been busy so he hasn't released a new chapter yet. And I'm busy this weekend, so I won't have time to do a recording. So, we'll be finishing chapter 5 this week. We'll be fi you'll finish chapter 5 next week. And with that being said, let's get into it. We finally met two other strangers, and these two other strangers, one of them is the one that gave the book to Aurora. Well, they both planned it. And they're both after altered, altering destiny, or messing around with destiny. And they pretty much joined them in their adventures to stop destiny. So, we're about to see what's gonna happen next. Especially you, ghost boy! <laughs> Nobody's afraid of you because you're not scary. Aurora, you said the two nicest things to him. You try and be an insult, but they were he interpreted it as nice comments. Ah, uh, you. Yeah. Mm. Come on, the journal is a dead giveaway. I mean, I didn't know. I guess we knew that someone planned it, or at least someone like them, because we saw their hair. When they stole the journal. But. How do you know those people specifically were. Were following them. I don't know. We stole it. That's the only explanation for how we got it. We stole it. Now why would we ask nicely when we could just steal it. We've been watching Orcus for a while. When he started exploring the Isles, we knew there was more to the name Rondu. Rivalanche believed in him, in my dad. Let that one sink in for a second. We believed that the mystery was finally going to be solved, and even after his death, we kept believing. Oh, we keep believing. And the girl... In the girl he mentioned in his journal. She's trying to insult her dad when he's dead. She's like, hear that? Let let this sink in. Take a second and let that sink in how pathetic you are to believe in my dad. And who's this girl in, in my in his journal? Of course. Well, she's sort of both. You can be a stupid genius, okay? There are people out there that are a stupid genius. Well, I would call them super geniuses. I don't know if you wouldn't. All those funny coincidences just keep just keep piling up. Yeah, you pretty much were tricked into coming to help solve a mystery that your dad couldn't do. <laughs> oh. oh shit, she Yeah guys, she's not wrong for you guys saying that. She's not wrong about any of this. How stupid do you think I am? All you are are you all in this together? It's this entire island conspire against me to manipulate every single one of my steps. Screw you guys, I'm out. Or oh, wait. Her toes stop. Her toes stops. Her. It's not your fault, Rain. It's mine. It's none of your faults. The main fault lies in the fact it's mostly your fault, Rain. Yes, it is true. It's your fault. Because you 
manipulated her to coming by having your friend by having Lucy's dad call her tell her that oh hey your father can't be moved whatever and so you gotta come to the island and yeah you're pretty much the cause of it all and same thing with the islanders too although i highly marion it's not your fault you're not to blame for this at all you're the only one that doesn't have an ulterior motive for this whole entire shebang she wanted to stay with us but then i started pushing her too hard you didn't push her at all okay it was rain not miriam no it's not miriam miriam it's not your fault toast totally right but instead of blaming yourselves, you should, she should stop blaming her. Because it isn't her fault at all. She's the most genuine, kind person out of them all. In my opinion. Totally, that's why we came to meet all of you in the first place. Sure. Total. Yeah. Whenever someone says totally like that... It usually means they didn't actually do that. They're here, they were here alternate reasons, which is true. They're here for and for alternative reasons. Of course, that's a smart idea to assure her that you all can handle the burden together. Yeah, when did, when did Victor, Victor go, huh? So I was like, oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, what? V Victor's not gonna do anything bad. What do you, what's the worst that he can do? He's gonna help or understand. Okay? Just watch. Oh, there she goes. She's crying because of her father breaking her promise. You said you were good. we were gonna watch them together. You promised. How did you know this was going to happen? Why didn't you just go home? Because he's friends with death. As he said, we he said to you, we have a special connection with death. And also, you're a friend. You guys are friends of death, of death. So, so he knew his time was coming, and he didn't want to go home. He wanted to leave you to come find him. Oh, look at that. The jacket goes around her. Oh. So sweet. Wait, is that a blush? Or is that just my glasses? Fucking Oh, yeah, that is a... That is a blush, because we don't see her red face anywhere else. Well, I guess we can't call that... We, we, we could... Oh, we could possibly call that maybe a little bit of blushing. Maybe. So great, Victor. You did the pro move. The pro move of anyone. You are a true gentleman. British nature come out. Bro. Your British heritage shows here. You mortals are fragile. <laughs> a true case. In oh, she's just sick. That makes sense. Okay. Why are you here? Because I ran away too. He's not wrong. He did run away. I mean, because we need you, I guess. Everyone's saying that just because my last name is Rondu. I mean, she's not wrong. Or is not wrong. The whole entire island has pretty much treated her like she has the last name Rondu and, has, and it's important. But... And Victor's like, the trust is quite baseless, isn't it? Like, he's agreeing with you. How, how is him saying that calling you weak? Okay? 
Just because they don't believe in your last name doesn't make you weak. Like, just because they believe in your last name and not you doesn't make you weak. Well, I guess it... I don't know. It might. I guess in some cases it could, but I'm not really entirely sure. <laughs> I like it how she yells at him. Like, are you saying I'm weak? And Victor's like, I, all I said was I agree, all I did was agree with you. Typical couple. Typical couple behavior here. <laughs> and even Fat Fat is like, uh huh, yeah, they're totally mad at each other. <laughs> fat Bat knows what's up. What I'm saying is, look, I want to stay here. Just not with people constantly manipulating me, that's all. I mean, that is true. I, I would want to stay in a place where nobody manipulates me. If I was in a place where someone was manipulating me, I would not feel safe. And I would want to get out of there. I totally agree with you wholeheartedly. This because my dad was insane. That's why he didn't need help. He was a total nutcase. I know it's scary even for me, even though we're not on the same level or anything. I mean, that makes sense because you're a specter, you're f you have magical abilities and stuff. Like, of course, it's not gonna be the same level of scary. Oh, there goes her. Oh, look at her eyes change. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet and cute. Her eyes are changing colors. Ooh, why did he kill himself? Humans are so hung up on asking why people die, they can't accept the real question is for what greater purpose death occurs. I mean, that is true. Yeah, for what greater purpose does death occur? Well, we can let, let's let them off. One, uh, to stop overpopulation for them not overusing the world world where we all die and half a billion people or half the people will be killed anyways because we'll run out of resources resources and everything because we because we overpopulated because we passed the earth's capacity capacity for how many people it can hold and yeah it's all cause and effect to me i kill a so that b can happen and c will be prevented and that doesn't make sense, it's just cause and effect. Like, I kill you, for then someone else can die, or someone else can live. And then, doing that prevents the world from overpopulating, you know? Or doing something bad again. Okay, so he says he has no control over murder and hot homicide and suicide, but he has control over natural deaths, which makes sense. So if he's saying that, then that means he, her dad was murdered or committed suicide, but I highly doubt he committed suicide. I think he was murdered. What? Oh, he was not. No, Lucy and them did not murder him. No, no, no. No, no, no. God damn, so much plot. Orcus chose death to change the course of destiny, to bring you to Riverland. There's no way that's... No, just tell me one thing. Can you talk to the dead? Oh. Fat Pat's like, yeah, it's true. Like, I think Fat Bat heard his, her dad die and everything. If you pass my trial, my powers are free for you. To use as you please, but without a pact, I'm not telling you any more than that. So, what you're saying is that if they completed Isle, 
one of them gets the power of what that isle was, is what you're saying. So if they have the power of death, they have control over death. Wow, which makes sense for the Endless Night Encore. Oh, interesting, interesting. I like it. Might as well tell me I'm gonna I'm obviously gonna I'm obvious gonna I'm gonna kick your ass. Mortal climbing to be up to be above me? How amusing. <laughs> Fat that's the happy do at that. <laughs> I mean it is pretty funny. I'm a human trying to out to to claim to claim to be higher than a god. Yeah. That is pretty funny. Oh, they were bonding. They made so good progress on the relationship and friendship in general, guys. Perfection. And that's how you bond with friends, guys. That's how you bond. Oh, and here comes the group. Good to see you finally get along. <laughs> Or just knock socks him in the face. Wow. Like, huh? We are? Bam! Whack! Sorry, mate. Not to do the cover. Where are the others? They're going home. We could all use a break before we start the trials, right? Okay, sorry for... Don't worry about it. We really had it coming. What about Vicky? Can he stay with you? Ooh! Wait a minute, look at that, look at that, they already, the island people already forgiving her, already saying we're sorry. Good, you should be sorry. Aw, and she's like, oh, okay, I'll take pity on him. Living with death, huh? More like best funeral home ever. Oh my god, and this is the baseline for how Endless Night Encore happened, pretty much. Fat bat hugs for her, like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Only one to do it. But how do we explain Vicky's looks to you, to you know, normal people? It can't be done. Please, Riverlandians believe in crazier things. Like, you not being a serial killer. Shut up. <laughs> She's like, like, they believe that you're not a serial killer. Shut up. I mean, he's killed, like, lots of females, and apparently killing them, nobody's found out that he's actually the serial killer. It, it, it is astonishing how much this town believes. First of all, humans walk with both feet on the ground. We'll work on that. <laughs> he fails to walk. Well, it makes sense, since he's always hovered his whole life instead of walking. What about his skin? Dude, it's very serious pi depigmentation disorder. Works. That works. Whatever works. Yeah, that is true. It works. The floating head thing. I got this. Yeah, just use a scarf. That, that's a perfect idea, actually. Use a scarf to cover it up. Excellent idea, mate. Excellent idea. And wrists and ankles, though. Can you just wear wristbands and socks? You, you people do know that ghosts can turn invisible, right? I mean, how did they not know? Um, actually, he's right. I am really stupid at myself for not realizing this sooner. That he's a ghost. He could have just turned invisible. It's great that the author... Well, I guess for me, I guess nobody else would probably be fooled. But I guess it's great that the author can fool people into forgetting that he's a ghost in general. And then when he gets it on, they're like... Oh, you're like, oh yeah, he is a ghost. Yeah, that's right. So why would we even waste time doing this? They're both mad at that. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the end of part one. So. It was good. We learned more about the plot. We learned more about the reasons. We learned about 
her being manipulated by people on the island. We now learn that they're gonna take a break and then they're gonna head on the trials. And yeah, so we're gonna end it here. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also give me any feedback that you have for me. Like, was it too long? Or did I ramble too much? Did I be too quiet? Anything like of that sort, just tell me. And I hope you enjoyed. So without further ado, I hope you have an endless night tonight.